Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell with TOT Revolution. I'm going to make this quick video here today um, on the dangers of using, or I should just say the dangers of inhibiting estrogen conversion um, in men utilizing therapeutic testosterone. I know that Dr. Keith Nichols and myself and other doctors on the round table have had a lot of really good conversations, very productive over the last five months. Obviously, I did the three podcasts with Dr. Rougier, but I think that there's unfortunately still a major disconnect in the therapeutic using testosterone communities. Um, and I want to do this video to really un make people understand the severe severity of this, the nature of what happens when you block um, estrogen when you're on therapeutic testosterone. But before I get into that, um, I just wanted to call attention to the amazing article um, that Ben Greenfield at bengreenfieldfitness.com um, asked me to pen slash write uh, for his site that broke today, Tuesday. Um, it's on his site, Ben Greenfield Fitness. It's on uh, decoding testosterone. It's an absolutely next level article on everything you really need to know about therapeutic testosterone, what not to do, what to do, delivery systems, blocking estrogen. I mean, it's unbelievable. And it's really, 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 like I would say, state of the science. Again, thanks to Dr. Keith Nichols and Dr. Scott Howell for helping me uh, formulate um, the research and also the information for the article. And then also to Tom Zakharov, who did an amazing job helping me um, transition it. So the purpose of this article today, and again, I'm going to go as hard and as fast as I can. Men have this mistaken understanding that when they have symptom resolution, from using therapeutic testosterone from using an AI, which again is an aromatase inhibitor medication, that it's okay and justified if it resolves their symptoms. And again, their systems could be any symptoms could be anything. It could be like what they presume to be high estrogen um, or you know BPH, benign prostate hypertrophy, um, a lot of other things that you know it's assumed that blocking estrogen. Uh, resolves. And the issue is, again, and I don't want to make a big discussion about that here today, is the issues that men have when they're on therapeutic testosterone are many, obviously, especially when you work with a physician that doesn't understand really how to manage your endocrine system, which is about 90% of doctors, especially in the world, but in North America, especially today, because they're trying to make money and they don't have the understanding of patient populations, you know, doing this a long time. And again, there's no standard patient of care, obviously, at medical school. So you really do have to learn on your own. It's very nuanced um, practice. But anyway, the reality is, is that, again, blocking estrogen only causes harm to biological systems, okay? The minimum protective effect for, car for, for, for a cardiovascular incident is between 60 and 80 okay, of your sensitive estradiol levels, okay? This is not disputable. Again, Dr. Neil Rougier has provided ample number or a number of cit cit citations and the research that shows where blocking estrogen only causes harm. Um, you know, Dr. Robert Komenarik is doing a lecture at AMMG in their spring conference in Miami, which I will be there to attend. I'm very excited to watch this. It's the leading off uh, uh, conversation or lecture on Friday morning, and it's literally titled The Dangers of Inhibition, um, Inhibiting uh, Estrogen in Men. I'll put a link to the bottom of this video um, for the conference. If you're a medical professional, um, you should definitely go to the conference just for this. Also, Dr. Rougier is presenting on estrogen dominance, which is really insulin resistance, which insulin resistance causes visceral fat deposition and visceral fat deposition and insulin resistance are the two nuclear bombs combining to each other that cause all of the diseases of aging. It causes all of the high estrogen side effects that men believe they have. Again, estrogen dominance. Guys, listen, for the last time, we need estrogen. We need testosterone when men are undergoing therapeutic testosterone to convert or aromatized into estradiol, okay, E2, okay, which ultimately is estrogen. Why do we need this? Again, I've said this a million times. It's in that new article on Ben Greenfield's site. There's a very, very precise, concise summary of the importance of aromatization in therapeutic testosterone. Guys, you must learn this. You've got to stop ignoring or misunderstanding 
using a little bit of a microdose of an AI to resolve symptoms is not good, okay? Sure, it might resolve your symptoms, but blocking estrogen only causes harm to multiple biological systems, okay? Bone mineral density, joints, your central nervous system, brain. I mean, it's just incredible how many biological systems the aromatization of estrogen, again, estradiol, effects in, 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 in both male and female central nervous systems slash endocrine systems. You, you cannot block estrogen. Again, and so many guys come at me with emails and messages all across the world saying, but dude, if I don't do this, I have this. If I don't use this 0.0025 twice a month or four times a month or once every other week, I mean, it's crazy. You know, men have de developed, as Dr. Keith Nichols, you know, quote to him, says it, a belief perseverance or belief dependence, whatever you want to call it, that they must use an AI to resolve the, the symptomology that they believe that they have. It's honestly really psychogenic. And you ask any of the top docs who are experienced with this and they'll tell you, but again, I, I don't want to talk about the subjective stuff. Let's talk about the objective stuff, blocking testosterone. I mean, blocking your estrogen from converting through aromatase into estradiol when you're on therapeutic testosterone is really, really harmful guys. It's harmful in the short term. It's harmful in the long term. Again, there are so many biological processes, and you know, and again, Dr. Rob has done some really good videos with me, and obviously all of the roundtable doctors, we've discussed this on podcasts, doing DEXA scans of guys that have been on AIs for five, six, seven years, even 10 years is really scary when you see how bad their bone mineral density is. So again, even a micro dose of this stuff does harm to you. So stop using AIs, Okay. This is about therapeutic testosterone. We're not talking about super physiological bodybuilders using massive amounts of testosterone or whatever else they're using. And those guys are swimming in estrogen um, and they're using AIs to block it. And again, even that, when you're doing that, is terribly harmful. And there'll be a lot of articles coming out in the, you know, in the, in the future about the, the damage it causes to the vascular pathways and networks when you are blocking estrogen, even when you're using super physiological levels. So Again, this purpose of this video is to tell you guys, please stop using AIs. They are absolutely no good for you. They're not resolving symptoms. Your ass needs to lose body fat, reduce visceral body fat, improve insulin sensitivity, improve endothelial function. These are all things that you need to do in combination with optimization, obviously optimizing your testosterone, optimizing your thyroid. If you're a woman, estrogen, progesterone, estradiol, all the other things too, including testosterone. But these are all things that need to be done in conjunction with a healthy lifestyle, okay? If you have a lot of visceral fat deposition and you're insulin resistant and you're slamming beers and eating like shit, then yeah, you're gonna have high E2 symptoms, which you believe are, but they're not. We need healthy amounts of estrogen. There are tons of men that have done this right, that started out with the best physicians who have 125, 150, 123 sensitive estradiol levels and they're fine. They have no symptoms, they have no side effects. They're okay because again, healthy amount of estrogen is good, okay? Now again, we're all biochemically unique. And some guys may have, quote unquote, high estrogen symptoms. Some guys may be, you know, genetically over aromatizers. And those type of guys, when, they're, when they have that clinical identification from the beginning before they start therapy, then yes, some of these guys may need some form of, you know, an AI for a very, very short amount of time, okay, to um, reduce the symptoms until they can get to a point where they can titrate off completely. As we've said many, many times before, um, the Pepsi challenge is you reduce your dosage of your testosterone and increase the frequency of your delivery system. Rinse and repeat until you get to a point where you don't have the side effects that you perceive to be of high estrogen, okay? And then the other thing on the other side is, is using the AI when you suppress it too much, and so many doctors have this belief that you need to be under 20 or under 30 or somewhere between 10 and 25, or all this nonsense that I continually hear, and I'm not gonna name names, but some of these guys are the biggest names in the optimization community, and it's a shame that they really are misunderstanding this basic tenet of, again, biological systems. You cannot block estrogen.
okay? Doing so only causes harm, even just a microdose or a little bit of an AI. It's not good for you, okay? So remember, the, the, the laboratory standard ranges are just guidelines. They're not to be lived by. You're not to be looking at them saying, oh my God, it says 30 to 45. And if I'm over 45, I'm in danger. You know, I, I got to have my doc block it. No, the minimum protective effects again are 60 to 80. There's no reason not to have higher estrogen. Reduce your visceral body fat. Clean up your, your nutrition. Improve your lifestyle habits. Stop drinking alcohol. Stop doing things that causes insulin resistance and visceral body fat deposition. Guys, it's very, very simple. Okay, it's not the blocking of your estrogen that is the issue. Okay, I mean, the blocking of the estrogen is the issue of biological systems long term, but you not having a clean lifestyle, having too much body fat, and having insulin resistance is truly the causal agent of all of your problems. If you don't believe that, you need to do some more research. You need to watch the videos, or excuse me, the podcasts, all three of them, part three that I did with Dr. Rougier, deep, deep, deep into the research. You know, the last thing I'll say before I end this video is, you know, Dr. Rob reached out to me and he's going to be talking about this in his presentation. He'll do a far greater job of, you know, presenting all of this information than I am in this video right now. But trust me, there is no research anywhere on the planet that you can find that shows that blocking estrogen is beneficial. I'm not kidding you. You know, he has done all the research. He's been looking it up. Any benefit that shows from using an AI is in compromised patient population groups of older men who had some positive effect, but you know they were already compromised or there were like five or six other negative effects and they found one positive effect in blocking the estrogen. Again, blocking estrogen only causes harm. It's toxic to biological systems. Guys, if you're watching this video and you're struggling, you're in the international community, you're anywhere, your doctor has no idea what they're doing, you're frustrated, I created this group online, optimizeforever.com. I've got some of the best doctors, the best subject matter experts, of course myself, all across the world in the group, contributing on a daily basis, answering questions. They're not giving out medical advice. You have to seek, obviously, the counsel of a physician and you know enter into a patient physician relationship but in the group a lot of people put forward information and we try to answer questions we try to open source and cloud source the information amongst all of ourselves if something comes up that's difficult but being in the group you can interact interreact or interrelate and connect with a lot of the best doctors you know build a nice little social media relationship and then reach out to them and then become a patient of theirs that's why i created the group anyway optimizeforever.com I hope you find this video valuable. And again, as always, I encourage you, if you do, please share it on your social media platforms. It's high time now that we get more about the optimization community, especially in this crucial, crucial topic about blocking estrogen, that more and more people find value and that they also have exposure to it. You guys have an amazing day and I appreciate you watching my channel.